Ta -da! <laughs> okay, remember Anna traveled recently? So, aside from the Chemex that she bought me, she got me coffee. A lot. <laughs> okay, let's start. First is Silverback Coffee of Rwanda. This is medium roast, Arabica beans. They did not say... Oh, there is a recommendation. Start with freshly ground, French press medium. Ah, oh, coarse for French press, medium for auto drip, and fine for espresso. Two tablespoons of coffee for every six ounces of hot water. We recommend storing unused beans in opaque airtight container. This is coffee number one. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay. Let's do it like that. Next. <clears throat> it's a uh, coffee from Trader Joe's. And it's an organic Bolivian blend, medium dark roast with notes of sweet caramel flavor. This is 100% Arabica. Coffee number two. Next is this black and bold specialty coffee. It's from Limu, Ethiopia. It's a single origin. It is light roast, um, light roast coffee. Here, the the notes is chocolate, blueberry, and honey. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Okay, coffee number three. Coffee number four. This is blue bottle coffee. Uh, the name is Bright. Tasting notes is blueberry, golden raisin, and lemon zest. Specialty coffee sourced with care. There is no other information. Okay, coffee number four. Okay. Coffee number five is Kahawa. Kahawa1893. It's 100% Arabica coffee, safari blend. Tasting notes is caramel and milk chocolate. Coffee number five. Coffee number six is this really cute packaging. Look, oh. Ah. Diba? Super cute. Okay, it's a coffee from Trader Joe's again. Organic fair trade shade grown. Wow. Okay. Medium dark roast, um, sweet floral aroma, 100% Arabica whole bean coffee. Okay, there is nothing else on the packaging. So that is coffee number six. Coffee number seven. So it's an anniversary blend of Starbucks. Yeah, notes of cedary spice and black truffle. Coffee number seven. So and dami nating, oh, so we have a lot of coffees for espresso. So we're gonna do that when we when when we go to Batangas. Next is this Costa Rica Santa Elena Better Buzz. Yeah, cute. Oh. The packaging is really cute. Life's better buzzed. <laughs> oh it says here that it's woman woman owned and it's handcrafted. I don't know why that would matter, being woman-owned. But yeah, they put it there. So it's a single origin medium roast, caramel, red grape, and honeycomb. Yeah, that's it. It's a small batch um, roast. So this is a specialty coffee as well. Okay. Coffee number eight. Coffee number nine. This is counterculture. 
big trouble. Okay, it says here the tasting nose is caramel, nutty, and round. Um, uh, they did not put the roast profile. Yeah, there is no information on the roast profile, so we'll see about that when we open the bag. This is coffee number 10. Counterculture again. Yeah, fast forward. Tasting note is nutty, sweet, and creamy. Organic cold bean coffee. Okay, again, same. There is no roast. There is no information on the roast profile. Okay. Coffee number 10. And then... Stump Town. This is hair hair bender. Hair bender. It's um, citrus citrus and dark chocolate. Okay. Next is Stump Town still. Color Mountain. So this is creamy and caramel. Next is still stumped down. This is Founders. It's vanilla and cocoa powder. Okay. And our last coffee is stumped down Homestead. Okay, Homestead is candied and milk chocolate. Yeah, ooh, so super dummy. I think we need to separate the specialty coffee or for filter coffee and espresso coffee. So this is espresso, of course. And then I think this one is espresso as well. This one too. This one is specialty. This is specialty for filter. I think this is for espresso as well. I think this one is for filter. This one, filter, definitely. It's a specialty. This one is filter. Yeah, this one is filter. This one, it's actually a blend. Maybe we should just open it. Because so I've seen, I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of reviews on the internet about the stump town coffee and they say it's good for filter so i want to know yeah i think this is for filter even though it's a blend i think it's for filter yeah so we have Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 coffees for filter. And then we have 4 coffees for um, espresso. So this is for Batangas. Yeah, this is for Batangas. I think. I think I wanna see inside if it's if we can brew this for filter. Ah, no. Yeah, it's a bit dark. It's not medium. Well, it says here that it's a medium um, profile. No, it's dark. Okay. Okay, the, these four will go to Batangas um, next, this coming weekend. 
then these ten. Well, stay with me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play with these soon. Maybe I'll do I'll do a cupping of every coffee first. Yeah, and then these four will go to um, my espresso machine in Batangas because I think they're gonna be really good, really great, right? Right, so for now, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!